Happy Memorial Day, babe. <laughs> so happy Memorial Day. If you're watching this post Memorial Day, we shot it then. A butterfly just landed on me. Oh. Look. Oh. Where are you at? Because I put the hand in something that they haven't surprised to see. <laughs> Look at the butterfly. I'm pretty. That's one of those that we raised. Hi. That would be cool. You're but so I don't pretty. think so. Look at your eyes. Wow. See if maybe hopefully it'll focus. <laughs> <laughs> this was a unplanned situation here. Very cool. That's supposed to be good luck. Yeah. Hey, well, I guess we're just gonna hang on here with us. Yeah, just put him right there. Please don't fly in my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, if you're watching this post Memorial Day, it's still gonna be a good video because we are moving our guineas out of our their brooder box, you would yes. say, into a corn crib. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have an old corn crib. You're about to see us put a door on it and get. We're not gonna get steps because everybody's closed today. But we'll get steps soon. Um, the biggest thing is getting a door to getting it secure. <laughs> and uh, there's a spot in the floor that we need to fix. Yes. So we're going to do that. And then we're also going to be moving our layer chickens over into the big barn, separating them from the meat chickens because we need to separate them so they don't get to know each other too much. <laughs> All right, y'all. I guess us and the butterfly can go get this done. <laughs> so pretty. Before we go too far, it's just that right here. Y'all see those four little guys right there that are not turkeys? That's four more roosters we just added to our barn. Can't see us. Nope. <laughs> so we had incubated um, some chickens for some friends of ours. Well, four of them turned into being roosters. Um, sometimes that just happens if like, maybe your humidity is a little higher, or the temp maybe a little bit higher. That's at least what we heard. We don't know if that's true facts or not. Um, but when you're doing barnyard chickens, you don't really know what you're gonna get. Uh, so four of them ended up being roosters. Uh, they just wanted hens, so they brought the four roosters back, which we're happy to have them. Um, so now we have six roosters up in there. Yeah, they're very pretty though. They're yeah. a mix between Americanas and T-Bird, which is a Polish, and it yeah. made a really beautiful chicken. So. Yeah. I don't know, they're fine. They're sticking to themselves and nobody's being mean to them. Mm -hmm. So um, I've even seen them trying to get on some hens. So yeah. yeah. I mean, we needed more roosters anyway because T-Bird was a lone, <laughs> lone man and uh, he's not getting the job done. Yeah. So, so this would yeah. be very helpful. And like she said, those two that are mixed with him are beautiful. Yeah. The other two are normal. They, they look like Rhode Island red ones. Yeah. And um, we have so much space, so they'll yeah. be fine. It's not like they're going to be fighting over hens or anything. So that's I, good. I'll tell you one thing, they're real loud in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> So here is our corn crib, a uh, little overhangs where I got the tractor, um, but it's in perfect shape. He says not having a door, not having steps to get up to it, and this one spot right, this one spot right here that we have to fix. Um, but everything else inside of it is awesome and set up great for a coop because the hose it has good ventilation. Nothing can really get into it. Um, well anything could probably get into anything if we're going to be honest here but but no big predators can get in and guineas are great guard dogs as it is so it's like a perfect coop for them because i don't even remember what i was saying <laughs> i said because and i said thank god it words are hard words are real hard <laughs> i think what i was going to tell you was that the guineas are going to get to be free ranging in our property um, because they are awesome tick and mosquito eaters. Um, so we are not putting them in the barn with the loud goats this morning. Um, we're not putting them in there because we already got three guineas and a livestock guardian dog for protection. Big malfunctions with the camera. Big malfunctions. Side note though, look how good the shot is. <sighs> it's it's good. pretty. It's good. I don't know what we've said and haven't said with this thing blacking out. It's time. They're not going in the big barn. They're going to be in the yard. Yeah. But we've got to get them in that coop so they can know that that's home. We're right. going to leave them in there for probably a week. And then they'll be out. And then at night, they'll go back in there. Yeah. And they'll know it's home. So. Yeah, I think, yeah, she covered it. <laughs> um, a lot of people have a lot of horror stories with guineas. And when they say that they never stay where they're supposed to be, they can't keep them around, this and that, etc. Um, we haven't had that issue with any of our animals, really. But, you know, we're blessed in that area. We know. Um, however, a lot of that, though, is due to routine feeding them, know, them knowing where home is, them knowing where their food comes from, um, and just due diligence on your part um, for responsibility of making sure that they're happy. Um, that's the case for most animals. So we'll see, you know, we might be proven wrong here with a different set of guineas, but I don't oh, think yeah. so. If, if we are, they'll just live in the coop. <laughs> <laughs> just live in the coop. Or go in the barn. <laughs> 
All right, and since <laughs> we're never gonna get through this, this is gonna be a, a freaking editing nightmare. <laughs> um, since well, first off, wood prices are absolutely ridiculous. We all know this, but you know, there's the. It feels like every man that's getting ready to build something has to complain about how expensive the wood prices are. I agree with them. Freaking nuts. So what we're doing is doing some reusing here. Um, so we made the brooder boxes, which you see back there. Um, I did a video on that. They worked out great this season. I was really happy with them. Um, I, what would you say? I think the only thing that really needs to be figured out is an easier cleanup process. Yeah. Um, because like we had to like take it all the way up, dump it. I guess if you scooped it like kitty litter and like did it more often, it wouldn't be too bad, but we would do it like once a week kind of thing. So that would probably be the only thing that I'd need to figure out. However, back to this part. We are going to reuse the tops because they are close to the right width, just not the right length. So I'm going to add to it, but we're going to be doing some reusing here, saving us a buttload of money on wood. So I got our little hole patched up with some scrap wood and I put our door up. So the first thing you're gonna see is there's a big gap right there. So I'm gonna take one of those pine boards I have, put it on the inside, that way it'll block that off and it'll give something for this to hit too. Um, but there she is. Wait a minute, babe. Very cute. Very cute. She ain't gonna win no home interior awards. By golly, she works. So I just, I actually attached the pine board to the door. Uh, and then I got my little lock there, so I'll, we'll put a little uh, lock on it at night just so nothing can get through the door. But she is ready to rock and roll. Okay, who's gonna be what? One's gotta be this thing, one's gotta go. Oh, yeah, okay, when I put them in it, you like immediately gotta close it up. Get the hell out of work. Oh. Welcome home, Guinea Guineas. This video is a little bit all over the place, but our Memorial Day is a little bit all over the place. So we got the guineas in their coop. They're good, they're happy. And then we moved all the layers. We told you we were going to, but we didn't get it on film because it got a little crazy. Um, but we got all the layers that were 
and there, which we moved that and mow it, mowed it and all that good stuff, um, over into the barn and they're doing great. Let me see if I can find any of them. There's some down there, let's see them. Before I get there, here's a good shot of the, the new roosters. Don't they look like many T-birds? And then of course, those. there they are. That's a few of them, they're taking a little dust bath. So they are a mix of speckled Sussex, light Brahmas, more dark Brahmas, um, Americanas. I, there's a Yokohama somewhere in this group. Um, but, and I know that's not all of them, but it ended up being, I think, 25-ish more that ended up in the barnyard. The rest are up back there and uh, the side of the barn, um, but they seem to be doing good and everybody's getting along really well, so that makes us really happy. All right, and then I also just freshly mowed the yard because it's Memorial Day. We're going to get the grill out, and nobody likes tall grass for at your feet. So it is nice and hot. Dogs over running animals. Um, it is nice and hot. It's a beautiful Memorial Day. We had a terrible weekend. <laughs> it was so cold. Yeah, I mean, it was a good weekend. Yeah, we yeah. did a lot, but it was just cold and nasty. Yeah, so hopefully at least today or Monday, Memorial Day, is a little bit brighter and sunnier for you all, wherever you all are. Um, reminder, this video is for you all on Memorial Day. We will not be live on Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Cat just opened the doors. Open the door. Just it's a wild zoo around here. Um, so Apparently we Apparently all of our animals have grown thumbs. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. So we will not be live tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're re-watching this after Monday, don't worry about that. That's This was just for Memorial Day 2021. So whenever you're watching this. Um, but we love you all. We've got a big week ahead. You'll get a garden tour out of there. The garden is popping, looking amazing. And we have so much to show you. That's right. We love you. Bye. Bye. That was. No, I. Sorry, I got this back nope. in. <laughs> Cat got the knife going together. On with the gate over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to down below. We love y'all. Until the next one. Bye. There it is. <laughs>